necessary because I think if, if you look at it, the name MGV actually is a, is a, is a good thing. Okay. I always joke with my, my, my people, Felda Global Ventures. Okay, Felda, because Felda, is, we inherited a lot of things that we had to do from Felda, you know, from Felda. The word global, so sometimes we look, are we really that global? We're not there yet. So our name already says that we're global. So this is something that we need to work on as part of the journey. And our, the journey that we are going to embark on is to make sure that we are a, a genuine global player. In any organization, restructuring always takes place. Okay? As and when it is needed, we will do it. But today, I think, uh, for, since I came in four months ago, we've not really made big changes. It's just that now we, we, we tend to refine the role that each uh, individual plays in the organization. I think it, there is no uh, easy way, okay, and there is no, not many ways you can do it. The only way you can do it is to demonstrate that you are consistently striving to add value to the to the company, and and that can only be demonstrated by generating the numbers that people expect. Okay, right now we are not performing that well. I think if you look at our assets, we have very good assets, but our numbers doesn't really mirror the quality of assets that we have. Okay, so now the journey is to basically come back and, and generate that sort of number. Like you see, like FAB production, say. we are low. I think this for 2017, we are doing just below 16 tons per hectare. What we should be doing is 2021 20, and, and moving up from there. The share price? Mm. I can't control the share price. <laughs> I, I even tell my people, huh, let's worry about what we can control. Okay? So don't worry about CPO price. Don't worry about share price. Let's worry about our productivity numbers. Let's worry about you know managing our overheads. Let's worry about not wasting money. Huh? Let's worry about being frugal. You know how do we optimize and, and, and make sure that our cost is not high, so that we can maintain a good stream of cash flow into the business, and we can use this cash flow to start developing new businesses or acquiring new businesses. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm, I'm not going to say it doesn't happen. Mm. Yeah? But what I'm going to say is if a GLC is run properly and it's constantly doing the right thing, for the interest of all shareholders, people can attack, we can defend. But if you are not doing it right, of course you are vulnerable, mm -hmm. you know. The Malaysians today are smart enough to do the right thing. Okay? And I think what we want is we want a stable country. We want to make sure that it's it's a country that's easy to do business and people can live and, and, and earn good earn a good living man. And I think uh, we're not we are, we we are there, you know. So I don't I don't see you know why we want to try something that we don't know the outcome of. <laughs>